Shalom, Israel Shalom. I'd like to give all glory and honor to Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai. That's the Heavenly Father, the Most High God, coming in the name of the Son, Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. Right, and this is going to be a quick breakdown of the curses on why the so called Black, Hispanic, and Native American man, which are biblically the Israelites, right, went through these things. And went into slavery. Right? So to kick it off, right, we're gonna start off with Deuteronomy twenty-eight and verse fifteen. But it shall come to pass that thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, right, meaning to listen, to observe and do all his commandments and statutes which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Cursed shall thou be in the city, and cursed shall thou be in the field. Now, we understand, you know, it's us that's in these ghettos, in these trenches, in the city, man, that's cursed with all this madness and everything going on. You know, that's us in these cities that that's cursed, right? In the ghettos, the rats, the roaches, in the slums, you know, and cursed shall that be in the field. You know, we was the ones picking cotton, sugar cane, and the other tangible goods, man. You know, that's us right there, right? Jumping down to 21. The Lord shall make the pestilence cleave unto thee until he have consumed thee from off the land, whether thou go off to possess it. The Lord shall smite thee with a consumption and with a fever and with the inflammation and with the extreme burning and with the sword and with blasting and with mildew. And they shall pursue thee until thou perish, meaning die, right? So, all these curses, you know, the inflammation, you know, the fever, the extreme burning, you know, that sounds like something nasty right there, man. That sounds like disease to me. You know, pestilence is disease. And these things are cleaved on to our people. Our people are getting consumed, meaning dying, by all these weird types of diseases, right? You know, AIDS, cancer, you know, and a bunch of other things, man, Right? 25, the Lord shall cause thee to be smitten before thine enemies. Thou shalt go out one way against them and flee seven ways before them. And thou shalt be moved into all the kingdoms of the earth. Right? So look, it's plain and clear we got enemies. You know, the Lord is letting you know, you know, we're going to be smitten before them. You know, we trying to flee against them. You know, running from the cops, getting locked up. You know, uh, goddamn, no license, you know, unregged car, you know, you know, and a bunch of other things, man. These these, these people, right, the enemies, which which would be the, the peckers, man. You know, they all here killing our folks, man. Putting their foot on our necks, you know, really destroying us, right? You know, 28. The Lord shall smite thee with madness and blindness and astonishment of heart. You know, our peoples be bugged out, man. You know, and it hurts my heart from the things I be saying, you know. You know, the madness that our people, you know, go through and get hit with, right? And blindness and astonishment of heart. So it's our people that's, you know, blind to the fact that all this is happening, you know. We astonished over this stuff, man. You know, we're trying to get right, though, man. We got to wake up and come back, right? Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people, and thy eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all day long. And there shall be no might in thy hand, right? So, you know, our peoples were sold to these other peoples, man. You know, when they sold our sons and our daughters, man, you know, our folks cried about that, man. You know, we cry that our kid, that you know, that we, you know, for our kids, for our babies, right? And that's the same thing that's happening today. Our kids going to DCYF, right? Same thing, you know, because that's a it's a business to these people. These people are getting paid to take our children, man. You know, that's why it says your eyes shall fail all day long, you know, because we don't have no power. We, there's no might in our hand. You know, got to go to the courts to get them back. You know, staying real, man. 
34. So that thou shalt be mad for the sight of thy eyes, which thou shalt see. That's plain. Verse 36. The Lord shall bring thee and thy king, which thou shalt set over thee unto a nation, which neither thou nor thy fathers have known. And thou shalt serve other gods, wood and stone. You know, our peoples is in these religions, man, these, these, these strange gods that they serve with, man, you know, the wood represents the crosses and stuff, man, you know, Christianity, Catholic, you know, and the rest of that, you know, BS, and the stone, you know, that's that Mecca stone, right, you know, the Muslim, you know, the, the, the nation of Islam, you know, our peoples is in these strange religions, man, but we didn't know that, you know, we knew the one true God, the God of Israel, you know, our God, right, and thou shalt become an astonishment, a proverb, and a byword among all nations, whether the Lord shall lead thee. Right? So now look, you know, we become astonishments, become proverbs, you know, nigga, black, African American. You know, these are all bywords and stuff to get us by. Hispanic, Dominican, Puerto Rican, Mexican. When the Lord don't call us none of these things, man. He don't call us none of that, right? You know, Jamaican, that means the land of water, water. You know, Haiti means the land of high mountains, man. That's not us, man. We the children of Israel, right? And we're going to prove that. Verse 43. The stranger that is within thee shall get above thee very high, and thou shalt come down very low. So these people, man, they living good. They on top. Penthouses, condos, right? Nice cars. A couple hundred thousand to a couple million in the bank accounts. While we're very low with nothing. Right? He shall lend to thee, and thou shalt not lend to him. He shall be the head, and thou shalt be the tail. So, you know, they lend to us, man. You know, they on top. You know, they the head, and we the tail. Meaning we at the end. You know, we got to go to them for things, man. Right? 45. Moreover, all these curses shall come upon thee, and shall pursue thee, and overtake thee, till thou be destroyed. Because thou hearkeneth not unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to keep his commandments and his statutes which he commanded thee. And they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder and upon thy seed forever. Right? So the Lord said, you know, this is how we're going to be able to tell with the children of Israel because of these curses, man. Like if you want something to eat, you know, you know it's that restaurant because of the sign. Right? So the Lord's like, look, this is, this is going to be a, 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 a sign. You know, that's upon your kids, right? And you forever, you know, you know, being in the slums, being in the ghettos, not having none. This is showing us who God's chosen people is, right? Because thou serve not the Lord thy God with joyfulness and with gladness of the heart for the abundance of all things. Therefore, thou shalt serve thine enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee and hunger and in thirst and in nakedness, right? So the Lord's making a plan. Look, y'all got enemies. Now, how can we all be children of God if somebody got enemies? Because it ain't, you know, your so called fellow Israelite, your so called fellow black man that's on the next block that you're beefing with. That's not your enemy. That's not your op, man. They're not the ones that you got to sit here and go to, you know, to, to, to get your food, man. You know, it says it hunger. So when you want to go get something to eat, you got to go to these folks, man. You got to go to the supermarket to get your food, you know, to get your drink, you know, and nakedness. You know, you want them clothes, man. You know, whatever apparel you might wear, man, you got to go to these folks stores to get it. We don't own none of these big companies, Nike, Gucci, you know, uh, Jordan don't even own Jordan, man. You know, whatever it is you like, you got to go to these folks and the want of all things. So whatever you want, you're going to have to go to these folks, CBS, Walgreens, Strogas, Stop and Shop, whatever you want. You got to go to these 
places, man. We don't own none of this. And if we do own some little stop, some little shop or something, we still got to go to these people in order to sit here and, and pay, man, taxes and all that. Uh, you know, so that's plain. And she, he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he have destroyed thee. Right? The Lord shall bring a nation against thee from the end of the earth as swift as the eagle flieth. A nation whose tongue thou shalt not understand. So, you know, the American symbol is the eagle, man. It's the eagle. If you look in the back of a dollar bill, what do you see? An eagle. That's their sign, man. Right? We didn't know. We, 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 we wasn't speaking no damn English, man. No damn Spanish, man. No damn uh, Jamaican speak British, man. Haitians, French, man. They took us off these slave ships and beat these languages into us, man. We spoke the ancient Paleo Hebrew, right? That's what we spoke. Not none of this stuff we speak now, man. A nation of fierce countenance which shall not regard the person of old nor show a favor to the young. So they don't give a damn if you're 60, 70, 80, 90 years old. They don't give a damn about our people, man. Don't give a damn if you're two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and so on and so forth. They don't care about us, man. Stop letting these people trick you like they do. This is all a facade to keep our peoples down, man. This is witchcraft. This is trickery at its finest, man. Right? Jump down to uh, 54. So that the man that is tender among you and very delicate, his eyes shall be evil toward his brother. Right, so we was delicate to our people, man. You know, what's up, brother? How's everything going? How's your day going? Everything good? You need anything? You straight? Did you eat? Now we got this damn EY towards each other, man. We see each other in the club, step on each other's toes. You know, just look the wrong way and you're ready to kill your own peoples, man. Grilling each other. Walking by. Yeah, yeah you know me? You know... Trust me, I was there, so I know what's going on, man. This is how it really be, right? The Lord said we would have an evil eye towards our people, right? These are part of the curses. And towards the wife of his bosom, and towards the remnant of his children, which he shall leave. You know, this hit deep, man, because, you know, I've been through these things. And now I'm trying to shake back right, man. This thing real, we got to wake up. Snap out of it, man. So that he will not give to any of them of the flesh of his children whom he shall eat. Because he have nothing left in siege and in straightness wherewith thy enemies shall distress thee in all thy gates. Right? The tender and delicate woman among you which would not adventure to set her foot, her foot upon the ground for delicateness and tenderness. Her eyes shall be evil towards the husband of her bosom and towards her son and towards her daughter. Right? So, you know, there was a point in time when the daughters of Zion, you know, they wouldn't even set their foot on the ground, man. The princesses were so tender, man. You know, they had to get carried around, man. How a real princess should. Now they're walking around here twerking, shaking, booty shorts, you know, just a bunch of folly, man. You know, it, it, it's sickening to see my people's like this man right and it says her eyes shall be evil towards the husband of her bosom and towards her son and towards her daughter you know so you know that evil eye sound vicious man you know 58 if thou wilt not observe to do all the, all the words of this law that was written in this book that thou mayest fear this glorious and fearful name the Lord thy God then the Lord will make thy plagues wonderful and the plagues of thy seed, even great plagues in the long countenance and sore sickness of the long countenance. Right? That's plain. 64. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people from the one end of the earth, even unto the other. And there thou shalt serve gods, which neither thou nor thy fathers have known, even wooden stones you know that's plain like i said you know these, these religions man that we didn't know we in these church buildings goofing around man dancing to a bunch of folly 
not even opening up the book and reading these scriptures, not reading these chapters, man, right? And among these nations shalt thou find no ease, neither shall the sole of thy foot have rest, but the Lord shall give thee their trembling heart and failing of eyes and a sorrow of mind, right? And thy life shall hang in doubt before thee, and thou shalt fear day and night, and shall have none assurance of thy life. You know, so, you know, we fear when we go out there. Like, damn, am I going to get killed? Cop kill me? Am I going to get locked up? You know, we don't have no assurance, man. You know, we're not sure what's going to happen, man. Taking that next step, walking off that dope. You know, real talk. Right? This is the point. Verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. Now, Egypt is synonymous for bondage, right? Meaning slavery. And how how, how we know that? Why are we going to prove it by going to Exodus 20 and 2? I am the Lord thy God, which have bought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage, right? So, Egypt means slavery, right? So, the Lord's like, look. You know, you're going to go back into slavery again, this time on ships for your disobedience, right? By the way whereof I speak unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. So it's saying, look, we will not see our homeland again because of all that, right? And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies for bond men and bond women. Amen. You know, these people are enemies. The Lord's telling you in the Holy Bible that we got enemies, man. So everybody can't be your neighbors if you got enemies. Everybody can't be God's people if the Lord's telling you we got enemies. That we were sold to for bond men and bond women. And no man shall buy you, meaning save you. Meaning redeem you out of this captivity. You know, nobody's going to come to save us. Right? So, you know, this was just a quick breakdown. And I'm going to end that one one of these days. But this was a quick one just to, you know, show the folks, show you people that, you know, we the Israelites, man. We God's chosen people, man. And, you know, these are the curses that's put upon us for our disobedience towards the Most High. It's time to come back man wake up keep these commandments you know stop being niggas stop wanting to be gangsters stop wanting to be you know hoes man thoughts you know we are holy people man mean to set apart you know and the most high of god of israel that's our god you know these other gods so-called gods of these nations are idols man you know it's time to wake up man we in them last days 